Hey peeps, it's Nox, and today we are here with a Diamond Art Club unboxing. I did warn you, there's gonna be a lot of these probably through the rest of the year and partly into January. Um, thank you, Black Friday sales. Although this one's not a Black Friday sale. This one is, um, see if it's in the screen there. This one is one of the mystery diamond paintings. So um, I will start by saying, if you don't wanna see any of the mystery diamond painting stuff, this is not the, uh, the video for you. <laughs> so uh, feel free to skip it. If you don't want to see it, no hurt feelings. Also, my light just went out because I think it's not charged. So I'm just going to take that off. So sorry if it gets a little bit dark. I've got as much lighting as I can. Now, uh, for those of you who are not new to my channel, you may notice that this is a different setup than my normal setup. I am having a bad pain day, but I wanted to open this up and show it off and I was too impatient. So <laughs> we're doing a seated position filming, which unfortunately does mean I have a little less width and height to show you, but we'll, we'll make it work. I figured for the mystery diamond painting, that would be reasonably okay as uh, we're not trying to see a lot of detail in the picture itself anyway. Um, but before we get into the actual unboxing, I do want to cover a few things. Uh, first things first, I do have neuropathy in my hands. can make me make weird stretchy motions sometimes during the course of the video. It's just me trying to get pain, swelling, kinks out of my joints. I am not signaling for help. Please don't send rescue. Secondly, I do have several people who live in my household. They may be moving around in the background, knock at my door, come in, say hi. And thirdly, and most importantly, my channel supports LGBTQIA+, Black Lives Matter, neurodiversity, body positivity, freedom of religion, including the freedom to have no religion, diversity, and inclusiveness in general. If this is something that bothers you, I'm going to have to ask you to not like, not comment, and not subscribe. Just go find a different channel. For those of you who stuck around, welcome to Punks and Crafts. So, I will also apologize, throw in a, a fourth note that's not normally in there. The uh, setup I have to do for uh, sitting can occasionally cause my table to shake while I'm talking with my hands, which I do a lot of. So I apologize in advance if that causes any sort of visual discomfort. So this one I got is Button Eye by Anise Guerrero. Um, it's going to be a square because it, otherwise you would notice all the white background that will be on the canvas, which you will see in just a minute. So um, if you're considering getting a mystery diamond painting, no, it will come in square regardless of which one you get. This one is a 56 by 71 centimeter or 22 by 28 inches. And it does look like it comes with ABs. So let's get into this. I am probably going to be bombarding my channel with rapid successions of unboxings because there are quite a few and uh, we're going to be filming them all at once. <laughs> well, not all at once, probably over the course of two days, but uh, I don't want to sit on them for too long before showing you. So you may have days where there might be more than one video in a day for once, which will be an interesting uh, change from my go anywhere between five and two weeks between unboxings because that has been my life lately. All right, so this one still comes with the, uh, the normal toolkit, not one of the new ones. Uh, I don't know precisely when that will start. Uh, Diamond Art Club did say they were going to be putting that as their normal toolkit, as far as I remember. Um, do not hold me, uh, don't, don't I, I, I don't work for Diamond Art Club. I could be incorrect about that, but I do remember reading a post where they said they would be, in fact, switching to the new toolkits, but it's going to be a, a like a, a, a phase into. So you don't know which kits are going to have these ones and which ones are going to have the new ones. So our little sticker here still shows the question mark, but it does give you um, name and the uh, artist. So if you don't want to be surprised, you can go look at what the art is and see if this is something you would like to do. Uh, I do ask that anybody commenting in this video, please don't spoil this for anybody. If you know what this art is, keep that to yourself. Some people want to be surprised. I will admit I do know what this art is and I have been waiting a while for them to do this. Um, so I was really happy to get it. 
The image itself will not be a surprise to me, but I still like the, well, one, I wanted the art. Like I said, I've been waiting a while for it. And I like the idea of watching color blossom on, you know, a white canvas. So interesting and fun stuff. Oh, if you are new to Diamond Art Club, I'm not going to open this, but it does come with everything you need to start diamond painting. It comes with your applicator pen, some multi-placers, a squishy to make the applicator pen more comfortable, some baggies if you like working out of baggies, your heart-shaped wax, and a tray. Since it's a square, it will also come with a pair of sharp tweezers with a safety cap on it. I recommend keeping the safety cap on because those tweezers will be sharp. And you can, and we're highly likely to stab yourself if you don't keep the cap on. I speak from experience <laughs> because I lose the caps constantly <laughs> and I end up stabbing myself. And if I don't stab myself, Virgil stabs me. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So we have our insert, which my camera shifted. Sorry about that, guys. This is not my favorite, uh, stand phone stand for recording but it does uh think my phone's a bit too heavy <laughs> it slides sometimes so this insert does give you your step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond paint and it will also include a 10 percent off code in here uh you should never pay full price at diamond art club because uh there's codes everywhere all right so this is a point where i really suggest last chance if you don't want to see things Go find another video because I'm about to show off the sticker sheet, which will give you the color palette. Although, as you can see, it doesn't give you the visual color palette. But if you know your DMC codes, you can figure it out. Plus, I'll be showing off drills right now. I'm trying to keep it at the bland side, but I'm, I'm this is your last warning. All right. If you're still here, then no more warnings. So. This does give you all the same information as the small sticker sheet, but a little bit bigger and set up more for a log book. So it has your start date, end date, and again, still just leaves you your little question mark there. So it's not spoiled for you. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. It does come with 25 colors and looks like two ABs. You can tell with Diamond Art Club which ones are ABs based on anything that is below the number 150 in the DMC color code. All right, let's take a look at this canvas. I'm going to roll it backwards really quick. Um, this is poured glue, so you can roll it backwards without worrying about damaging it, which I'm just doing it so it'll quickly lay flat. Diamond Art Clubs, you don't have to do this. Their canvas quality is good enough that, uh, you know, if you let it rest overnight, it'll easily start laying flat again. But for the sake of this video, we're going to move a little faster. All right, so... I'm going to try and get it here without knocking everything over. And I'll pan you around a little bit so you can see the extent of the canvas and my messy table. So that is what our canvas looks like. Just completely white canvas with black lettering and grid patterns. Um, it is not easy to make out what it is that you are doing, <laughs> um, which I appreciate. Again, I do know what the image is, but even I wouldn't mind seeing, having a little element of surprise. And I don't have every detail of the image memorized, so seeing what pops up on any section that I'm working on still sounds like a lot of fun. All right, so Diamond Art Club always puts all the information on the bottom left of their canvases. Normally there would be a picture of what you're working on there, but again, we're dealing with mystery stuff. You've got the uh, uh, legends on the top left and bottom right. All right, so this is the part where we're going to look at what the uh, drill colors are. If you don't want to see this, um, I will put a timestamp right there in the corner and you can jump to that. And that will be the point at which I extra struggle to figure out <laughs> where the ABs go in here because I don't even have the hint of color. So please bear with me. All right. For those of you who don't like the sound of the crinkling when this opens, there will also be a mute icon right there. When that goes away, uh, you can feel free to unmute and rejoin us. Ready, set, go.
All right. Get that out of the way. All right, so first we've got a stray 310, so one. <laughs> figure out how many more. I'm sensing a lot of 310 in our future here. All right, so this is where my other light would have been nice because it, it gets a little shadowy up here, so I apologize if it's a little hard to see. I should have planned ahead, but I did not. All right, so we, we've got the one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bags of 310, not as bad as I thought. We've got one, two, three, four, five bags of 3371. One, two, three bags of 3799. We've got 317, 498, 318, two bags of that, uh, two bags of 814, and 413. We've got another bag of 413, 762, 415, another bag of that, two bags of 414, 452, 3861, 30, or 453, 3860, 898, a squished bag of 938, 154, 632, 141, so this is our first AB, which is going to be white. Um, if you don't know what an AB is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. That's that extra shiny coating that you see there on the top. Um, it just causes these to be more colorful, more reflective, and to reflect the light off the colors next to it just gives your canvas a little more pizzazz. So it's a pretty small bag of 141, and it's only going to get smaller from here. So I'm assuming not a lot of ABs on this canvas. So we've got 3772, 3350, 127. So here's our other AB. This kind of looks like a, a very pale pink or beige color. Kind of somewhere in the middle there. And again, extra small. 150 and 3731. Now normally I would give recommendations on how to add extra ABs to a canvas, but uh, without specifically knowing what everything looks like, you can either lay things down and then pull it back up if you want to change it, or you can take your best guess off of, you know, one of the drills types that you already have, like decide to replace all the 814 or something. Like I can't recommend that specifically without knowing where the 814 would end up on the canvas, but just small suggestions. All right. So let's get all these drills out of the way. Let's try to figure out where our ABs are. <laughs> so AB or symbols one and two. One is going to be that beigey pink and two is our 141. And this might be an exercise in futility because trying to find that without any color hints is fun. Okay, so far, no luck, especially since there's not very much of either color. I'm trying to figure out where they land. Okay, I see some twos somewhere over here. Whatever this is has some of that beigey pink in it. Um, what do we got? Let's, oh, come on. It doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. I saw some twos briefly. Where did they go? <laughs> okay, so there's some twos right in here. And some twos over in here. And Scott is making steaks in the other room and I can hear them sizzling and I'm getting hungry just listening to it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Probably not, but... I'm going to tell you, it sounds delicious. I am very excited. Okay, I have yet to see a one. <laughs> and there's actually more ones than twos, but... I'm sure they're in here. Just, uh... I, I was not prepared for how difficult it was going to be to find specific symbols on a large canvas that is entirely black and white. Um, if only I had Virgil to help me. He's got a good eye for this stuff, and I do not. Oh, 
I see ones right in here, here. Okay, it was a very small amount. I was very excited, but now I'm back to being lost. <laughs> all right. So honestly, it probably doesn't matter too much to see where they all are because we don't know what the image is. I'm just trying to get any idea smatterings. Okay, there is some right in here. So it's sparse. It is sparse. But it does seem to be scattered, which is good. I, I don't always like it when it's all clumped into one area. So this is at least spot spotted all over the canvas. Um, as far as our problematic symbols that Virgil likes to go over, and so I'm going to keep up that habit. All of these are black on white. So you don't have color differentiations, but there are only 25 colors. And so far, I'm not super concerned, but, oh, no, here we go. So 12 being a dot or a square dot, and then five being a big dot, that might be confusing. Um, I, for people who have little trouble with their vision, this double dot and this line might be problematic. And, oh yeah, that, this has been killer for me. So the diagonal line with the percent symbol, like once you start getting in tiny bits, if those are too close together, that actually can make me go cross-eyed. I don't know if they'll end up together. I haven't, don't see them in the same nope down here yeah so there's some spots where they are together so yeah um working on a solidly black and white canvas can make symbols challenging i would just say take your time go slow with it and um you know give a little grace to the concept don't get too frustrated but this looks super super fun what i'm gonna do is um, i'm gonna work on this as a side project I normally post all of my progress pics on uh, my diamond paintings on my Instagram, which is down in the description box if you want to follow me there. I will not be doing that with this one because I don't want to give spoilers to people who don't want to see what it is. However, if you would like to see my progress pics on this image, please send me um, a message either on Instagram or Facebook and um, I will create a list and every time I would normally have put up a progress pic, I will instead private message people the progress picture. I will just fair warn you, sometimes my progress pictures go up at three in the morning. If that is a problem for you, please let me know. I will try to just keep it in mind to put it up at like noon my time, but I also have so many people who follow me in so many time zones, there's just not a good time. And I don't want to set alarms all day long. So if, uh, Getting messaged at random times is problematic. Probably don't sign up for that because uh, I can do my best, but I am only one person. I do have two kids to raise and a whole lot of stuff that I do all day long. <laughs> so I'm going to do one time a day. That's it. Um, no special accommodations beyond giving you guys a private message so you can see what's going on. I also can't promise how long this will take me because I will be working on other projects as well as this one um, because I do want to work on things I can show off on Instagram. So this will be one of my palette cleansing nitpicking uh, projects. I have a tendency to run anywhere between five and eight projects at any given time. I, I know it's it's kind of spazzy. I am kind of spazzy, but my my brain gets bored. And I find if I can work a couple squares on a new diamond painting for a little bit, I can go back to older projects, work a little bit on them, so on and so forth. So that is my spiel on that. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to put that down in the comment section. If you are not already subscribed to the channel and would like to be, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell so you get notified anytime I put up a video. I don't post on any sort of schedule. I am an agent of chaos fueled by the exhaustion of child rearing, multiple medical conditions, and an ADHD slash autistic brain. So hit the bell, get notified. Otherwise, this is where I got to say bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>